Day three of increasingly hard coin flip problems. I worked as a quant and basic interview questions filter out over 90% of applicants. And this one takes our fair coin and two frenemies, Alice and Bob. Alice has $4 and Bob has $3. And they're playing a coin flip game where if they flip heads, Alice gets a dollar from Bob. And if they flip tails, Bob gets a dollar from Alice. And the winner of the game is whoever has all $7 at the end and they can't play anymore. So what's the probability that Alice will win the game? I'm going to show a more brute force approach first, then I'm going to show a faster way to solve this. Starting off, I'll introduce a variable PN, which represents a probability that Alice will win the game starting with N number of dollars. And notice that the answer that we're looking for in this question is just P4. At that state when Alice starts the game with $4, there's a 50% chance that she flips a heads, in which case she progresses on to have 5 coins, and the likelihood that she'll win then is represented by P5. The other 50% of the time, she'll flip a tails, in which case she'll lose a dollar and only have $3, and the probability that she'll win the entire game then is P3. Given that, P4 is equal to 0.5 times P5 plus 0.5 times P3. And we can build equations like that throughout the entire game. Though note that P7 is 1 as Alice already has $7 and has won the game. And likewise, P0 is 0 as she has no more money at that point. Next up, we set up more equations like we did with P4, such as P6, which is 0.5 P7 plus 0.5 P5. And as I said before, P7 is 1, so P6 is just 0.5 plus 0.5 times P5. We can continue doing this and set up for P1, which then sets up for P2, all the way to solving for P4. And it is a valid way to solve everything, but it takes a while. So now I'm going to show you a faster approach. Note that because this is a fair coin, the expected number of dollars that Alice has after a single coin flip is equal to the number of dollars she had at the beginning. Let me give you an example. Alice started with $4, and there's a 50% chance that she flips the heads and will now have $5. But the other 50% of the time, she flips a tail and loses a dollar to have $3. So 0.5 times 5 plus 0.5 times 3 is equal to 4, and therefore she is expected to only have $4 after a coin flip. This extends all the way through to the end of the game where Alice would have won with having all $7 or Alice would have lost and having $0 left. Therefore, when she starts a game with $4, 4 should equal to the probability of her winning times $7 plus the probability of her losing times $0. And this gives us that 4 equals P4 times 7. And we divide both sides by 7 to get the final answer of 4 over 7, or that Alice will have around 57% chance of winning when she starts out with $4. Follow to see how hard the last question in the series would be.